What's going on guys? My name is Roscoe. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Uh, so today I want to make a list of the upcoming sneakers for Adidas that I'm actually excited about. Um, that's actually re releasing in June. So these sneakers are releasing in June and <clears throat> I cannot tell you how excited I am for these sneakers to be dropping. I think me and you can agree that Adidas hasn't had a strong first quarter. Uh, even into this probably second quarter too as well. Um, I think Jordan Brand in uh, Nike started off the year with a you know started off the year on a bang. I mean they dropped so much heat and Adidas I felt you know was sort of lacking in, well I wouldn't say lacking but didn't meet expectations. They had some new models that kind of flopped. Um, we got we did get introduced to the the Yeezy 500 which is a great shoe. Pharrell kind of, you know, he dropped his NMDs that were super limited, and then he dropped more NMDs out in China that were ridiculously limited, and now he's supposedly working on a new model, you know, he dropped the new model at the 747 warehouse event, but it hasn't been, you know, a worldwide release yet for this new Pharrell model, so, you know, Adidas, uh, you know, didn't have, like I said, didn't start off the quarter, the first year, first part of the year off too strong, but I think from June on, they're going to be killing it. They're going to be absolutely killing it, and I'm super excited. So without further, let's get into the video. So the first sneaker that's releasing on June 1st, it's coming in two colorways, is the NMD R1 PK. Now, okay, you're probably like, blah, 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 well, it's been released a hundred times, what are you talking about? Well, not in these in two colorways. There's two colorways. The first colorway, they're calling it Energy Aqua, and the next one is Trace Orange. These sneakers dropped on Adidas a couple weeks ago. They dropped on Adidas for like a couple hours or so, and the Adidas pulled them off the site. I don't even think it fully sold out. No one's really heard too much about it. I know I've seen on Teddy's, um, you know, on Teddy, Teddy picked them up and he uh, put it on his channel. But other than that, there hasn't been much details of, you know, is the shoe gonna be released or what's going on, what's happening. Well, today I found out online that they're going to be releasing on June 1st on the Sneakers and Stuff website. Um, so, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about this shoe. If I was gonna pick right now, I would pick the Energy Aqua. That colorway is super clean. The orange one is just as good in my opinion, but there's another sneaker actually I'm gonna to get to next that's orange that I'm not trying to pick up all these orange sneakers, so I would definitely go with the Energy Aqua, but if you, if you like me, this sneaker is, these colors are dope for summer. Super clean, I don't know. I think the hype is gonna start going back up on these NMDs if they keep dropping colorways like this. So, I'll put the, the pictures already been up, I already showed you, so like I said, June 1st, better get up for those, better get ready for those because those are going to sell out like hotcakes, man. They're going to sell out quick. So, NMD R1, take a PK, must cop. Those are a must cop. All right, so the next model that's releasing in June, I don't know the exact date. Um, these these shoes have been leaked all over the internet. I think they were leaked last year. Someone's got them. Someone had them out in Europe, and then I thought they were going to drop in Europe first, but now who knows what's going to happen. Ronnie Flag, um, owner of Kif Clothing, he posted a couple pictures with them. Wax has been posting pictures with uh, with these shoes like crazy. In the sneaker I'm talking about is the Young One. Now, now we're going back to the chunky sneaker. So, a lot of people are like, "Oh, the chunky sneakers. Why? Why are they continuing this?" I think this model is sick. I think it's dope. It doesn't have boost, but I think it's still going to be comfortable. I just love the color, the color pattern on on the orange one. You got the orange, you got the, I think there's navy, a little bit of yellow. It just, it knocks it right out of the park. And for a price tag of only $130. So they're releasing it in the orange colorway, and then they're having it a white and red uh, colorway as well. I don't know the release dates, like I said on this one, but I'm expecting the orange one to probably be dropping in June. And for me, that's a must cop. For $130, bucks, it's a must cop. I just absolutely love that colorway. That color is... Color works so well, and I think it's going to sell out. Those will sell out instantly, but <clears throat> we'll see. We'll definitely see. So, but those are a must cop. The next shoe 
is sort of like a bargained uh, easy Calabasas, which to me, I'm fine with it. And the shoe I'm talking about is the Adidas Rascal, they're calling it. It's coming in two colorways. You got a white one and a black pair for 80 bucks. 80 bucks. You can't get wrong, you can't go wrong with it. I think it's such a sick shoe. I love the Easy Calabasas. I have the gray pair and the white pair. I skipped on the black pair, so I'm probably going to pick the black pair up in this, in the Rascal colorway. If it drops in June, we'll see. I don't know which one we're gonna get first. Or if we're going to get both at the same time, I'm not sure. Um, I'm really interested to see the quality on these. Because the quality will play a huge factor on the shoe for me. Um, you know, the Yeezy Calabasas, you can say like, oh, well, it's just a hype shoe, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's really nothing to it. You can get any type of model on it. Blah, blah, blah. That model is blah, blah, blah. You can get it cheaper. You know, all the haters were saying that. But now, but if you actually looked at the shoe and felt it, the quality is outstanding on the Calabasas. I think that's what everybody says. Everyone can agree on that. I think you can too as well. So, I think what the Yeezy Calabasas were the 130, 130, 120. Let me know. I think that's the price tag on those. I believe the Rascal's 80 bucks. So we're going cheaper. Are you gonna now Adidas? Are you gonna go cheaper and you know crap out on the quality? We'll see. We'll definitely see. But I'm definitely picking those up. And I think you def you you should be too. I think you should be too because. You need a shoe in your collection or just in your rotation like that. And, you know, it's an everyday shoe that you can wear or, you know, it's not a shoe that you have to wear to, the, you know, you wear out to, like, family events. You got you could dress it up. It's more of a dress-up sneaker, but then you could dress down, too. You can really take that, that sneaker, especially like the Calabasas, and switch your style up, you know. It's very, I use it, I say it's like a multi-tool. It's like a multi-tool shoe. You know, you can wear it so many different ways, and that's right, you know, <clears throat> and for 80 bucks, you know, you can't go wrong with it. So, we'll see. Those are a must-cop, the Adidas Rascals. So, on June 9th, you're getting the highly anticipated, the Yeezy 500 Supermoons. I'm excited for those. I absolutely love my blush pair. I wear them all the time. They're super comfortable. Everyone says, like, oh, they're not as comfortable as Boost, but they're, they're damn well close to it. I love how... It's like a trainer sneaker, but yet it's like a fashion statement sneaker. They're so different. They're so unique. There's nothing on the market that's like them. And I'm actually excited for this colorway. It's a like yellowish green color. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the Supermoon. I think it, if you look it up on the internet, if you look up a Supermoon, it's like when the moon hits the, the sun in a certain way. But it gives off, this, that, it gives off that yellowish green color. So that's probably where he, obviously where he got it from, but I just love the aspect. And what I love about Yeezy brand too, just Yeezy in general, his sneakers, he just takes like a different color, you know, the, the colors that they use for his sneakers, especially Adidas in general, you know, it's so different and so unique compared to Nike that, I don't know, I th he's on this whole earth tone trend right now, and I'm really digging it. I'm really digging that whole vibe. So the Supermoons are definitely a, a cop. I have my plug all set, I think, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get a pair. And we're actually currently working on a um, styling video for the 500s, so what I'll do is I'll add a couple fits with the, the Supermoons once I get them, and I'll, do, I'll make a whole complete video for you guys, so keep an eye out for that. Now, staying on Yeezy, I don't know the exact date on this, but we're going, we're getting the V2s back. The V2s are coming back, and the first one's coming in the butter colorway. I'm excited for it. Who doesn't? The V2s are have become such a classic. Well, not just the V2s, but the whole Yeezy Boost 350s have become an instant classic. They, to me, the two major, like, most popular sneakers right now in the game are the Jordan 1s and the Yeezy 350s. The V2s or the V1s. It doesn't matter. Those two sneakers are absolutely, put them in millions of colors, they'll sell out all the time. All day they'll sell out in this butter colorway. Again, it's kind of like the Supermoons, but I think it's going to be less green tint, more yellow. Is is an instant cut for me. I mean, the the 350s are so comfortable. It's a perfect shoe for summer, and I'm excited to get finally have the V2s back. And I know they're going to come out with more colorways than 
what the butter and the sesame. I know they're gonna be coming out more. He's already put out a picture where he had a table just layered of all colorways for V2s. So those I'm excited to have those back. Instant comp. So the next and last shoe that I'm excited about that has been announced for June is actually coming out in June 2nd. And that is the Ultra Boost Parlay in the AM4 LA. So that one right there, I'll post a picture. Radium, it's such a dope sneaker. I don't have this model yet. Uh, I know they've released already a bunch of colorways for them. Some of them have been super exclusive. There's one that's really dope That's that was only released at the 747 warehouse event. And that was like that orange cardboard box kind of colorway. I don't know what they were called, but they were so sick. These ones I'm just excited about because it's just, it's like a... It's like a dope trainer sneaker that you can wear every day. Um, I just like that that baby blue colorway. It's perfect for summertime, perfect for spring. And it's like a sneaker that I know it's super comfortable. It's all boost all the way around. And it's a sneaker probably that you can wear on errands. You can just wear it on your daily activities. You could probably wear it. Like I said, you could wake up, put it on, go to the gym, go run errands, and then continue with the rest of the day because it's multi-purpose, because it's a gym, sh you can wear it as a gym, it's an athletic sneaker, you can wear it, you know, it's perfect for walking, probably walking a long distance and everything like that, so you can do your errands in it, and then the last is third, is that it's a stylish sneaker, so you can wear it probably going out, hanging out with friends, and you, you'll probably still get compliments on it, and it's a great cause, I love parlays, I think parlays is one of the best ultra boosts that are out there now, um, you know, I don't know, I know you're probably familiar with it right now, they take recycled materials from the ocean and they put it into the shoe which is so so dope I'm not an environmentalist by any means you know I'm not I'm just it is what it is but this is a cause that I can definitely get behind so those come out June 2nd and they're super limited so that's the bummer part but anyways those are a must cop if I could I think they're only like 15k pairs something like that it's super limited but must cop that really goes. That really does it for the list for June. I'm going to actually put out a list for from Nike because Nike's dropping heat too as well. Every time <clears throat> Adidas starts dropping heat, Nike's like, "Hold on, hold on. We're not going to let you take this month. We're not going to let you take this month." So they just on those release dates, those big release dates for uh, that Adidas has, like I think on June 9th or whatever. Dude, Nike comes out with the, the punches too. Like, oh, we're going to release our off whites on those days too as well. So. I'll come. I'll make a list for Nikes that uh, that I'm excited about that are coming out for in June. So, but anyways, guys, that's my list for June for Adidas sneakers. If you notice, I didn't mention anything about Pharrells really. There's really nothing that's been announced for Pharrell, which is you know, right now it's been quiet. It's been quiet, which is sort of unlike it. You know, he's been putting out some images on Instagram, giving us a little bit of sneak peeks of what's possibly coming. But, I don't know. His sneakers have been super limited. And, you know, I find them harder to cop than Yeezys, you know, nowadays. So, I, but I wouldn't be surprised if you hear about something within the next couple weeks or, you know, definitely within... You're definitely going to hear something probably this month of, of, of a Pharrell sneaker that's coming out soon, you know. So, it's probably going to be that, um, that sock-like sneaker with the boost you wear. He's doing a lot with the Boost You Wear sole, so I'm expecting like a colorway in that, in that type sneaker. And again, it's probably dumb limited, and you won't be able to get it. So, but like I said, you'll hear something probably from Pharrell with Adidas coming soon. So, but anyways, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.